Yeah. Is that a smile? Yeah, it's pretty good luck to run the top, even the one on the bottom was okay. Yeah, but the top was fucking easy. Which lap was the quickest one? Not when I pitched him. Yeah, really good. Um, obviously from the other night, we had some dramas with the engine and that, so went out there and just, yeah, unexpectedly got the issue sorted. So, felt really good. Got around the track pretty quick and um, qualified third in our heat race. So, yeah, we'll be starting out third for the heat. It's a pretty cool event coming here, eh? Yeah, it's definitely good. It's uh, got a really good atmosphere. The crowd gets amongst it and, um, yeah, you get the race against Australia's best uh, before we head back home and do our series. What's the plan for the heat race? You got like a pretty tough heat. They're all cut. Yeah, I think every heat race is tough. It's just a matter of, you know, trying to get into that A main. So, we're starting out the third. If we can finish third, we'll be really happy to just be locked in. But, um, obviously, you want to try getting the dash as well because you can then have the chance to start on the front row. So, yeah, just, you know, keep it straight. Try to get to the end of next weekend as well. So, yeah, just take it slowly and, and get there. What changes have you guys made to the car, or if any? Oh, I haven't talked to Jay, but it looks like he's going to do a few changes to the right rear shock. and. As we've seen just out there on the heat race before, the track's starting to go away now um, against the wall, so we'll definitely need to make a change from what it was like qualifying to what it is now. So I'll say we'll probably play with the right rear. Callum's just pushed out for his heat race, as you would have seen in that interview just now. Uh, they don't really make many changes, which I'm really surprised. A lot of teams make a lot of changes, um, and some changes, some teams don't really make too many changes. And those guys seem pretty casual about it. Obviously, they ground their tires a bit, um, which some teams do. You see a lot of that in our previous videos from the states. But they just made what uh, Callum said that right rear shock change to look like, and um, not much more than that. So um, he loves running the top, and right now uh, the track is right on the fence, as we saw in the first heat race. Uh, Lockie McHugh won that one running around the top and everyone behind him was on the top too. So uh, I'm really excited to see Callum run the top. He's out of three, so he needs to get to the top as soon as possible um, and get that momentum built up. The sooner you get that momentum built up, the sooner you can kind of uh, get on track and, and go forward in the heat race. So um, looking forward to see what happens. I think he's got Brock Hallett in front of him uh, in out of one and he's got uh, Jock Goodyear out of four on the outside of him. So those guys, um, you know, Brock's really fast lately and, and Jock loves having a go, loves getting on the gas. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens at the start. And um, he needs to finish in the top two to make the dash, like he said. So uh, let's see what happens.
go. So as you would have seen in the heat race, Callum didn't finish. Uh, the bad news obviously didn't finish and he's going to be buried in the C main which he's lining up for now. But the good news is, is that the problem wasn't terminal. As you would have seen in the footage, it was just a throttle linkage that came loose. Basically it's a threaded rod with rod ends or uh, uh, hime ends uh, is what they call them. And basically they're set to a certain length and they're attached from the uh, engine to the lever that's mounted on the chassis which goes to his throttle pedal. So uh, that came loose and basically after a few laps as it unwound, he had no throttle and had to pull infield. So, a um, bit of a, like uh, last night's video, as you would have seen with Matt Eagle, not finishing a heat or uh, not, uh, you know, getting pulled back a row or those sorts of things really affect your championship. And when these guys have driven for four days or over 4,000 kilometers to get here from WA, uh, that's a massive effort to have something, uh, such a small part go wrong. So, uh, also I think they had a loose nozzle line, so they've done a, a big check over that sort of stuff. But he's buried in the C main, he's off the six rows out of 11 on the inside, and uh, he's obviously got to um, move forward in that. He's got to finish in the top five, but there's only 12 laps, so he needs to move forward six spots to make it through. And then he's only in the B main, and then he starts off the back and needs to move forward. But obviously, first up, as a race car driver, you need to worry about what's in front of you and that is the C main. So hopefully it can move forward in this race. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is uh, making sure we've got enough battery for our cameras um, because I think he's got enough speed to make it through. So let's see what happens.
Actually gone uh, outside the track uh, after the sea main but yeah it's all pretty hectic um, they still were bleeding the brakes they had a brake problem uh, like his uh, crew member said uh, what a night to pick them to film them but, um, still entertaining still fun I think he's got the speed he didn't look perfect in the sea main but he obviously moved forward he ended up second so um, let's see what he can do in the B main obviously he's moved forward again the best part is it's 20 laps so he's got eight more laps in the C main to move forward uh, let's see what happens like it was Ryan Farrell but uh, Callum stopped over here you can see a lot of cars stopped over here some guys do and some guys don't what they do is they stop right up next to the wall to talk to their pit crews I know it's a really popular thing that they do in the States but um, yeah Callum is moving forward but maybe not as fast as what we'd hoped um, you can definitely tell it's a tougher field with the B main but I think he's up to maybe about 12th but on that last restart he restarted 14th um, again halfway through with only a handful of laps to go uh, he really needs uh, things to work out for him. So um, we'll see if we can pick him off. Uh, right now, you need to be around the top, and a lot of these guys are trying to pass, um, you know, every corner. So you can't really build up that momentum to, to move through the field. So um, we'll see what happens. Flipped. Just in front of us and tried 
tried spinning it out, trying to get out of the way, but fucking not on that track tonight. It's a bit hard to get my momentum and turn away from it. Oh, I don't know. Kind of seemed like the heat race kind of really yeah. behind the eight ball and you just didn't have time to kind of chase the track you set up. Yeah, we just had a bit of bad luck during the whole night, but we know our car's quick. We're just gotta uh, get those little bits of fine tuning going on and get a bit of luck as well. And yeah. we qualified good tonight. We just got unlucky with that linkage. We shouldn't really be going from the C main trying to get into the A, but things happen. We'll be back out to yeah next week anyway. Same main time, but uh, Callum didn't make it, unfortunately. As you would have seen, he took a pretty hard hit in the B, but uh, they're actually washing the race car right now. It's not at the trailer. And um, unfortunately, that's just kind of how racing goes sometimes. So, uh, they're going to go watch the A. The guys uh, got plenty of beers in the Esky, so uh, they still enjoy the night. But just a shame for him for the series, I guess, because he is so fast and he's one of those guys that's in contention. But like I said, you, you have those nights every now and then. But, uh, bit of an early night for us and uh, we're going to go sit on the hill and have a uh, water and um, enjoy the A. Thanks. <laughs>